Hello, good evening. Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host, Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, what I'm going to do today is to create part 10 of this series of tutorial to answer one of my uh, one of the comments given by the I don't know if he is a subscriber, but uh, he's trying also to watch the video tutorial, okay? So what's a uh, shout out for that guy, okay? Now you know who you are, okay? Now guys, his uh, concern is how you are going to do the uh, adjustable time delay. Now uh, the client wants that he can start the equipment uh, based on the time delay uh, or an adjustable time delay, okay? So we, we are using uh, time delay or delay blocks, okay? But uh, it is not, uh, the, the time delay is fixed. So let's say the on delay, you can, let's say if you can put it all like, like this one, let me show you, okay? So that you know what I'm trying to say here, okay? So here I have a delay here, but this one is off delay. But for the on delay, uh, the on delay here is zero. If you want to make it, let's say 10, 10 minutes, or uh, how many seconds, then it will be fixed. Now, the concern is the clients want it to be adjustable, okay? So the time delay, the on delay, he wants it to be user adjustable, okay? Meaning in the graphics for this system, they will be creating their one uh, time delay set point. Once they increase or decrease the set point, the time delay or the on delay of the equipment will adjust also. Okay? So it is a user adjustable parameter. Okay? So uh, in order to implement this, uh, as I said again, I'm not very expert to this. Uh, FB or functional block programming, I just think of a way how I'm going to implement it. But I don't know if this is the best solution for that one, but uh, this is the, the thing that I can uh, try to use to implement or to satisfy the client's request. Okay, so what I did here, I'm just going to show you what I did here. Okay, so I removed the fixed time delay, okay, the on and off delay. So what I did here is, as you know, I have here my conditions. I have conditions here when I can start the EF1, okay? So I removed the fixed time delay. So I used here a runtime block, okay? So in my runtime block, in the units, okay, I've used one here. So the, this one is four minutes, okay? Then I have here a TD reset, okay? Of course, this one will reset the time, uh, the accumulated time. Then I'm using here one operator, okay? Then I have here a PVR, parameter value real, wherein the user can adjust this, the value here or the initial value here, whatever value he wants in the graphics. So in the graphics, they need to bind the, that graphic point or that graphic object to this uh, point, okay? So I know he knows how to do it, okay? Then what happened is when everything is okay to start this one, so this one will become one, then it will start this counter, okay? So the counter will count. Then if it reads, because I'm using here an operator greater than, so when this, the output of this runtime is greater than this, then it that's the only time it will start the uh, equipment, okay? So this is a possible way of implementing what he's asking for, okay? Now, the main concern here is how are you going to automatically reset this uh, runtime, okay? Because this runtime, one once this uh, the output of this block exceeds this uh, set point, because this one, I, as I said, this will be my time delay set point. Okay, so this is the user adjustable. So this block output exceeds this, then that's the that's the only time it will give the one signal to start the EF one. Okay, then at the same time the 
runtime accumulated here should be reset automatically. Okay? Because if not, uh, next time it will start, it will not uh, pass through with this uh, sequence. Okay? So as I said, uh, when you start this, then you need to also to uh, reset this automatically. So I will leave this to that guy, how he can automatically reset this, uh, how he can automatically reset the runtime block, okay? So this will be your assignment, okay? So let's try to simulate this. We will see if this scenario is working, okay? So let me execute it, okay? Then, okay, so in order to run this, since this is a generator uh, ventilation system, first it is in automatic, okay, it is in automatic. Why it is not running? What is the problem? Why it is not running? So let's see why it is not running. Okay, it is already, it's already, okay, automatic. Then there's no trip. Okay, gen set, why it's not running? Why I still have zero here. Okay, now because we have used here operator enable and uh, time delay, okay? So I included here an operator enable and time delay, okay? Now actually, I don't know if I already explained this operator enable and time delay in part nine because I'm considering this as part 10. Now operator enable will give the, uh, the, uh, the operator a way to stop the equipment. So let's turn this on. Okay, one, enter. Then the time schedule, let's say this, uh, actually uh, the time schedule, we will be using this for, uh, let's say if you want to schedule the, uh, what you call this? If you want to schedule the, okay. Now I, it is already counting here, okay? So I will say time schedule is all, oh no, later, no, later I will do it this one, escape. Okay, now you focus here, then as you can see here, the fan already started up in 10 seconds, okay? So uh, the guy who raised this com uh, concern, he have to find a way how he's going to reset this, okay? Uh, I know how to do it, but I want to give him some assignment, okay? So I hope this uh, sequence or this uh, logic will help you satisfy your client. Okay, guys? Okay, guys? So, again, this is a very short uh, video tutorial how you are going to implement an adjustable time delay for the equipment, okay? So, I just uh, included this because there is one uh, comment from my uh, viewers so I hope I gave you some idea how are you going to solve your problem in the site. So once again, if you are new to my channel, please help me promote it by subscribing. You can watch, like, share, and subscribe. And if you really appreciate what I'm doing, I have a super thanks in my video. You can show your appreciation. So once again, thank you very much. Before I will end, God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.